It's been a long time and I'm glad you're joining me today and I'm so happy to see you. So we're going to continue our talk about the flashlight. Here I have it, the flashlight on my phone. I have it on my phone because my phone is something that I always have with me. So if I ever find myself in a jam somewhere in darkness, I know I always have a flashlight with me because my phone is something that I always have with me. I also have something else here with me. It's a blue light. It's something that I carry in my purse. And it's another light source that I have with me. So I know I have my flashlight on my phone that I always have with me. And I carry this blue light with me in my purse, another light source. We'll get to some other light sources that we may find ourselves in need of down the road. So let's think about this. Did you know that we are to be a light unto the world? That's what Jesus would want for us, a light unto the world. How can we be such a thing and why would we need to be a light unto the world can you think about that how could we be a light unto the world well has the power ever gone off in your house in the midst of a storm And you found yourself having to search for a flashlight? Did you have a flashlight? Or did you or your family have to look for another light source? Hmm, did that light source come in the form of A candle, perhaps? A candle is also another form of light source. Those are pretty useful as well. And they even smell good, too. So there's all forms of light sources. Candles, flashlight, blue lights, infrared lights, UV lights, if you get your nails done, you may know something about UV lights. But back to being a light unto the world, like Jesus wants us to be. A light unto the world, like a light bulb? Hmm, not quite. No, 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 not quite like the light bulbs and the lamps in our homes. But as Jesus talks to a parable in Matthew chapter 5, verses 15 and 16, Matthew chapter 5, verses 15 and 16, let's read that. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. So what does that say to us today? Well, I believe that says to us that when we are living our daily lives, when we're at school, when we're at work, when we're at the grocery store, when we're on the playground, that we are to live like Jesus lives. Let's see. If my friend stumps my toe, how do I react? Do I get angry? Or do I say, it's okay, I understand it was an accident. 
how do we react in those situations? Or if I'm driving to work and I have a flat tire, do I let that ruin my whole day? Or do I call AAA, allow them to come out and fix it, and still realize that I'm thankful to God that I had AAA and go ahead and make it to work and still have a blessed day. How do we react when times are hard, when times seem dark, when we think we can't hear or see Jesus? Those are times when things seem hard and things may seem dark or bleak that we are to still praise the name of God and be thankful and have a cheerful heart and a smile on our faces and a song on our lips. That's when we want to shine our light bright. The thing to remember here is that in the midst of darkness, we shine our light. We have all different forms of light sources, don't we? And in times of darkness, when we shine our light, what happens? Darkness has to flee. Darkness simply can't stay around when we have our different light sources. It simply cannot. You'll find that when you're feeling down and low and things seem dark and bleak, that when you shine that light bright and smile and put that song on your lips and in your heart, you begin to smile so bright and those feelings change. That's what Jesus wants us to show everyone. And you'll be surprised that when people see you live your life like that, with the light so bright, they will begin to wonder, what is up with you? How can you be so happy? Why do you have such a glow about you? What is going on in your life? And then you have the opportunity to share with them the love of Jesus. It's Jesus that you're able to shine your light so bright. So are you ready to allow your light to shine? You are the light in this time of darkness. Do you believe that? I believe that. So let's let our light shine. Thank you. Let's say a prayer. And Jesus, we want to thank you in this time when things seem dark, that we thank you for allowing us, Lord, to be able to come to you and ask you for your light. And thanking you, Lord, for allowing us to be able to have the opportunity, Lord, to have Jesus in our lives. Thank you for allowing him to be able to come to this earth and die on the cross for us that we may be able to allow our light to shine. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to be able to approach your throne of mercy. We thank you for these little boys and girls and their willingness to be able to allow their light to shine for you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, little boys and girls. Now go and let your light shine.